the second set of relaxing 10 minute stretches that we're going to do we are going to work on our chest and back along with these exercises or these stretches you will also be stretching your arms because well you have to use your arms if you're going to stretch your chest or your back first we're going to start off with camel pose And for that, we want to be a hip distance apart with our knees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come back and lean on your heels. Now, if that is too much, you can put your hands right on the back of your hips and pull your elbows together while your chest pushes forward. Keep the breathing relaxed in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try not to uh, tense your shoulders. I have also reversed the grip and put the flat of my knuckles against the back of my hips. It's not up here, it's literally right behind your hip bones. And you're pushing your pelvis forward squeezing your elbows behind you, stretching your chest. Keep the breathing relaxed, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now on the arms, what this is stretching would be the front of the shoulder. Nice and easy. And remember, if you guys need to take a break, take a break. Don't hold the pot. Don't hold the, paw, the pose as long as I'm holding it. If you need to take a break because it's too much, work into the length of hold as you get more flexible and more relaxed. So the next one for the chest is just a really simple one. You've probably done this for years. You're going to bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and then you're going to press the back of your hand towards the floor, straightening the elbow. Now, this is a full arm stretch. It is a wrist stretch. It is a chest stretch. For anybody who hunches over a computer, you should be doing this for a couple minutes every hour you sit at a computer. This is going to prevent you from turning into the hunchback of Notre Dame. Or Notre Dame. I guess it depends on where you're from. Breathing is relaxed. Head is neutral. Abs are tight. Everything's nice and easy. So when I do this, I start to feel tingling. That's okay or so I've been taught that it's okay for the tingling to happen. It just means that things are actually relaxing and releasing. If you want a little bit more of an intense stretch, you would go ahead and lift your chin to the ceiling. This is gonna stretch the front of your neck while you're doing everything else. in and on the exhale we go ahead and relax the next things we're going to work on are is uh, two back stretches uh, the first one's going to be Cobra and then um, the ex the second one is extended puppy Cobra um, just lie down on your tummy feet are out behind you you can do a modified on your forearm if you don't have good flex back flexibility you can go up into an extended full arm now even though we just did chest this is stretching a little bit of your chest because you're arching it is also stretching your abs and it is also stretching down into the front part of your pelvis in your hip flexors all at the same time while you are stretching your back. 
relieving tension. Once again, if you sit hunched over a computer, or if you have bad posture when you sit in a chair, this is good to start trying to do to neutralize or bring things back into alignment. Once again, if it's too much, you come down onto your forearms and you just let your chest and your torso fall heavy away from your spine. Breathing relaxed, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Head is looking forward. Nice and easy. And once again, here is the extended version. Helping your spine relax in the opposite direction of how you sit in a chair hunched over a computer if you are an office jockey. Deep breath in, and on the exhale, we're going to relax. Deep breath in, and on the exhale, we're going to come up so that your hips are in line with your knees. Now, what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna reach your hands out, keeping the hips in line with the knees and walking the fingertips, I'm running out of space, walking the fingertips far enough away from you that you can actually get your ears between your shoulders. So it's a half of a cat-cow position or tabletop position with half of a baby, uh, half of a child's pose. Breathing is relaxed, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, remember if anything hurts, you want to try to form a 90 degree angle or thereabouts at the hip and a 90 degree angle or thereabouts at the knee. So you want to try to keep your hips in line with your knees as much as possible. Now this is stretching the arms again. It is stretching the shoulder blades between your shoulders. It is actually also stretching your hips down into your booty and behind your pelvis because you are in a kneeling leaning position for me i always feel things like this in the top part of my shoulder because my shoulders are so tense from pulling deep breath in on the exhale go ahead and walk it back in and have a seat so that was it for our second section in the 10 minute short stretching series. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, enjoy, relieve some of your tension and only go as far as your body is telling you to go. Bye.